using Outlook to keep track of my schedule has really helped me stay on top of things. No more missed meetings or forgotten appointments. However, it would be nice to be able to see more than one day at a time in the calendar. It just might be time to ask for some help from our office assistant, Clippet. Clippet has been so patient, just watching what we do and hanging around. What a pal! To get his help, all we have to do is click on him. When we do, he wakes up and asks what we would like to do. We want to learn how to show more than one day at a time in Outlook. We'll just type that here in the window, see a week, and click on the search button. Clippet racks his brain and lists ideas for subjects we may like to know about. It doesn't show up here, so we'll click on the see more option. The next list shows a likely choice. We'll try change the amount of time displayed in a timeline. Clippet opens a help window that describes how to change the display. Oh. That sounds easy. We'll try it. Thank you, Clippet. We'll take your advice. Clippet is not only cute, he's very helpful. The best part is he's on the job whenever we need him. We'll try his suggestion next. The buttons Clippet was talking about are here on the toolbar. We could click on the 31 button to see a month if we wanted to. We'll use the number 7 button and my week schedule displays. Wow, that's a lot to get done in one week. It's a good thing it's all in Outlook. I don't know if I'd remember all of those appointments. In just a short time, you've learned how to get help when you need it from Microsoft Office's On The Job Assistant. Now would be a great time to take a break and practice looking up help with the Office Assistant on your own. Speaking of assistants, honey, there's one more thing I wanted you to do.